Hi everyone, my name is Bruno Mateusz and today I want to show you a little bit more about MJML which is a great platform or a great framework to make responsive emails in a very easy uh, fashion. In a previous video I gave a, a pretty large overview about the main points of MJML, how you should work with it and today I actually just want to make a very short video about a different way of working with the MJML. It's not radically different, but it's, it's kind of a, a nice workflow that I have figured out and it works really well for me. It kind of really speeds up the process. Gary Healy, uh, he made a really nice comment. Thank you so much, Gary. And he commented about, if I already noticed the, the new app. Well, for those that don't know, um, MJ, uh, MJML guys made this uh, great app, which is a really very lightweight app, um, which allows you to, um, to without any editor, to just start and, and play with it. it. It's really, really fast, really cool. Um, I, I have it installed here, MJML. Uh, yeah, yep. So I can show you uh, a, a really quick overview and then I'll show you a different workflow that for me it's a little bit even better. The app is awesome. Um, you just, you can uh, manage several projects so we can have like a, yeah, a test for YouTube. Uh, you can store it uh, somewhere. I'm going to actually have an MJML uh, folder here. So I can have like a, a app test and you, you can use it here. Uh, you can choose, uh, this is really cool. You can actually choose from any of their gallery uh, to the templates. So you can, you can start already running, as we say. Um, it's really, really cool and it offers quite a, a big punch. So you can come here, just select create and you, you're already starting uh, working. You have um, on the editor side, it seems like it's kind of based in Atom, but I'm not sure. So I won't, uh, uh, if anyone knows, please uh, comment below. I haven't explored it that much. But it's really, uh, it's a nice interface. It's real time. So you can, um, let's go here. Uh, this is, is this section here. And now let's create a new one. So NJ section. It has auto close, so we can do like nj column, great, and nj text, and yeah, hello template. Uh, yep, and you, you can of course uh, the attributes also work, so you can extend um, like uh, like font size. Uh, equals uh, let's say 25 or 34 um, and it's bold and so on so it's it's the regular stuff but in, it has two flavors you can actually detect how it will look in mobile or in desktop on the same page everything is on the same page and you're su you're super focused on what you need to do in the end you can actually copy the HTML and then open it to your favorite email sender or to insert it in an in a email editor to do extra stuff if, if you want. You can click here to export the file itself. So test for youtube.html um, and he builds the, the, the file and you can see, sorry, not that one, hmm, here. So you have the HTML file in here that you can open on Chrome and then check it more, okay? So that it's it's actually a really nice way of working. Um, you, if if you have um, if you have a free account on Mailjet, you can even send uh, test emails. Um, so you you might want to check that out if you want. Um, it, it's it's really really cool, uh, really very straightforward. Um, you can adjust here a couple of settings. But it, it really, I, I enjoyed it. It's really very pleasant to work with. So if you don't have uh, any other editors and if you're just starting out, I totally advise you to, to use the MJML app and you can download it from, I had the link there. So uh, you can download it from this uh, link. I'm going to leave it on the description so that it's easier. One thing um, 
uh, it was not easy to 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 get this uh you you have this on the github page not on their uh, main page so you had to kind of uh, search for a little while a little while but it was really great there's a couple of nuances regarding this uh, it seems like certain features are not working or so they say like uh, mj include not not sure so i haven't tried it out but i'm now i'm going to show you a, a different way of working that has everything working and for me it's it's still awesome um, and that is by using uh, visual code so for those that don't know visual studio code is a free um, a free editor from microsoft i'm usually a sublime text person i've been using sublime for quite a long time tried at, uh, atom but didn't enjoy it that much uh, it already tried, of course, uh, Eclipse. Uh, I start when I started web development uh, more than 15 years ago. I used um, other tools. I remember using Dreamweaver when it when it was the boom of PHP and so on. But nowadays, um, Sublime just wasn't cutting it anymore for me. Uh, I do work in other projects. I also code. Uh, I also use, uh, for instance, uh, Angular 2. And they use TypeScript, for instance. Um, I also do small projects in C++ and so on. Uh, so I, because of TypeScript, I actually started to use Visual Code. And I have to say, I'm really, really, really pleased with it. I always enjoyed minimal, uh, minimal editors, but uh, I have to say that uh, Visual Studio has been really awesome. The thing that makes Visual Studio Code so great is that it's actually very flexible. It totally fits the MGML philosophy. So we can actually create here a new folder. Let's say it's test4. And inside this new folder, we're going to create a new file and we're going to call it index.mgml just, just to start with. You, you, would require, you would want to have some um, syntax uh, highlighting. So you can actually go here to the extensions and you can search for MGML. More or less kind of like in the, the Sublime Text packages, it's more or less the same thing. You just need to install it, to search for it and install it. You'll need to reload afterwards. Um, there's also a couple of other extensions that I personally enjoy using, uh, like project management. And because, because I come from Sublime, I'm still very uh, used to their uh, shortcuts. Um, but basically, that's it. And then we'll start coding. So we can do like MJML, um, and then in here we can do MJ uh, head. Yeah, I won't do anything inside the head. So I'll go here and say MJ body. Okay, and inside the body I'll do um, an MJ container. Inside the container you'll have an MJ section. Inside the section, I'm going to have uh, an MJ column. And inside the column, let's have a uh, MJ text with uh, have the hello world. Okay. Um, and if all goes well, now we should go to the command line and go to the folder and write MJML create the watcher. Well, with visual code, that step is actually not needed. It has a great uh, feature inside, which is an internal um, terminal. So you can go to view and you can go to integrated terminal, or you can just press control uh, CDL in my keyboard at least. <laughs> um, in here, it works actually just like any other terminal. So we can just, um, let me increase the, the size so that everybody can see. Uh, we can just go here and say dear. Uh, I have the folders. I can do CD test four because I'm on Windows. By the way, Visual Code has versions for Linux and for Mac, so it's all over the place. There's no excuse not to work with it. So back to our topic. In here in the console, we can of course do our watcher MGML um, with the option W, and then say index MGML. Press Enter, and every, everything goes fine. Yeah. As you can see here, we already created the index.html that you can inspect and you can see it's all full-fledged. So far, so good. So now the next step would be to open Chrome. Uh, I have an instance of Chrome here. Yep. And then, of course, to um, 
yeah to open the file and to open the file on on, on the chrome itself we uh, we will be stuck with a problem uh, in the end so uh, let me copy here the path so we go here and we can of course come here let me push this to the side so that everybody can see everything let's close here the, this yeah good so if i want to if i make a change so okay that's better so if i want to um, let's do this and this so if i want to to make a change or to to, re to see an update so i'll need to say uh, say hello again i'll need to say f5 because the, the updates are never showing here so i'll need to say refresh uh, so that you can actually see the update but there's a way to go around that also <clears throat> a nice way uh, is that you can actually have more than one terminal here which is awesome because you can now use something like a um, simple http server which is an uh, a node extension or a node module that allows you to have your own local server and it will be directly directly attached to the file which is monitoring so we can come here i can go to cd test 4 oh, come on yeah here we go and now i can say something like live server uh, press enter and he's actually trying to figure out the index.html which he did and here we have a new instance as you can see a local host instance and this means that if i can come here delete this and press save automatically it reloads so we can have a similar setup to the mgml app but with the full-fledged system working plus you're still using the same editor that you use for your other coding uh, jobs so you have the extension set it up the way you want with the fonts you want with the style you want with the folder structure you can use project management and um, so you you're still on your domain um, for instance a very nice feature this has uh, is um, multi-line editing which i really enjoy and it allows me to do crazy stuff not in here but imagine i have um, for instance two two instances of um, of the same uh, feature or a similar feature and i can actually select worlds and uh, uh, what a great world and sometimes this really uh, this builds up in in time if you have imagine 10 classes you want to edit you can just select that same class and and update the the, the class name for instance and it will uh, improve over time um, another great feature this has for other languages is IntelliSense. It's just still not active for MGML. There's nothing in here. Um, much there's not much to do because MGML is a declarative uh, language. But um, all in all, is a great feature. Uh, you, I'll leave the links below on so that you can actually download Live Server. Has a ton of extra options, which I'll. There are several videos um, you can see. And, um, and I hope you've enjoyed the, this small video today. If you have any comments, please you know where to place them. And I'm always uh, open to, to answer them. Thank you so much. Please uh, hope to see you soon.